Winter Time's Fun. Follow me. Wow. Ah. Snow, the cold, a hot cup of cocoa. It really reminds me of the December 2008 Northeastern United States ice storm that resulted in millions of people losing power for up to two weeks. Wow, Grandpa, how did you survive? Well, you see, Exposition Notario 27, I am from New Hampshire. What's in New Hampshire? Speak to me again and die. Grandpa? The winter also, in many ways, reminds me of school. In my day, I had to trek through 57 miles of frozen tundra to reach my university in time for the start of the spring semester. Luckily, my sense of direction was impeccable. Where the f*** am I? On one of those January journeys that proved that I valued my education more than the ones who snap yippers, I found myself on an abandoned railway- Is that a wolf? And though I wasn't afraid at all of any possible encounters with the local wildlife, I did begin to wonder whether it was a good thing I couldn't feel my face. And also apparently I forgot my lunch. Why were you only wearing pants? Because I'm from New Hampshire. Before long, I found a nifty hideout. Wow, this is a nifty hideout. Even though I wasn't expecting to find protection from the wind so soon, it made sense for there to be an abandoned train on abandoned train tracks. The frick is a train doing on train tracks? I grabbed everything I could get my hands on, and evaluated each item's usefulness to make sure I didn't carry any unnecessary weight. Huh. Did I hear an ominous boom? <laughs> That's fine, that just- that just happens sometimes. Hey, look at this new coat I found! That's a sweater. This meant I could go out into the wind without worry of immediate death. I would have stayed in the train car for a bit longer, but as a strong growing boy, I wanted a bit more than stale crackers for dinner. <laughs> but if worse comes to worst, I could always eat raw ice to recharge my northern batteries. <laughs> Because I'm from New Hampshire. F you. The wilderness was mocking me. I may not have the grizzly hands necessary to rip this frozen deer in two, but I needed to get some amount of food stored up before the long dark rolled around. He said it. Thank you. Thank he you. said the thing. He said the name of the All thing. Right, everyone, we're done here. So did you find more food before nightfall? Ooh, a stick. You know, it, it's really open to interpretation. No one can know for sure. What? That doesn't even make any- But my New Englander instincts had led me to a cave! It was dark, but it was deep enough to protect me from the elements. Wow, this darkness sure is... long. This was definitely the place to set up shop for the night. But I still had a couple hours before the darkness that was above average in length would arrive, and I wasn't quite frozen to the bone yet. Did I mention I was from New Hampshire? Cold Bill Fire, I'm Cold Bill Fire, I'm Cold Bill Fire, I'm Cold Bill Fire, Bill Fire. I devoured the crackers and melted some snow down into drinkable water. Go. And what better way to end the day besides getting my body temperature back up to acceptable levels while convincing myself that I was totally in a good spot and didn't waste the day with only a can of beans and a chalky bar remaining for sustenance. Oh man. How do I deal with my problems? Oh. And then I woke up fully rested at 2am. Because I'm from New Hampshire, so I had a chalky bar for breakfast, read a bit, loaded my bladder, and then, when I noticed the sun was starting to rise, I cooked my can of beans to start the day off with. Warm belly. Wait, doesn't that mean you're out of food? Shh, 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 shh. It's cooler than it was yesterday. Warm belly does nothing. Oh, f oh, oh, f it's game over, man. It's game over. Ooh, a stick. Stick, 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 stick. Oh, frick, I'm still freezing. I need a landmark, a hideout, something with quick and easy supplies to help me last another day. 
A radio tower! Maybe... Maybe there's some kind of outpost? Or even an outhouse. I'd be- I'd be fine. I mean... I, I'd take it for more reasons than one. Ooh, a stick! No way, there's my footprint. Stick. I trudge through the snow as I climbed my way to the tower. If I didn't find supplies here, I wouldn't know what to do. <sighs> what are those? Crows. Slicking around. No? There's no shelter? Frostbite? A corpse. Frozen solid from exposure to the elements. One can only imagine the numbing dread he experienced as he realized his time was coming to a close. Give me your stuff. What? I need warm. Why is there no warm? Who moved all the warm? I need dinner for a fire! But I was from New Hampshire. I had the situation under control. You're out of food again, aren't you? I had the situation under control! I was recovering, I, I had recovered from the medical risks, and now, the only last ditch effort I had left, since there was no freaking building in the one spot I thought there might be a building, was to explore the other half of the map. <sighs> it wasn't too bad of a walk. How far am I gonna have to walk? And I was focused. I can barely keep my eyes open. I had a clear goal in front of me. It's getting kind of foggy. No. No! Brick, where do I go? I gotta run. I can't run faster than a wolf. Brick, 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 brick! I got a rock. And I know how to use it. Maybe if I get to the train. <laughs> get away! Yes! No! Come on, be scared of light, be scared of light, please. Wait, I have an idea. Come on. Come on. No! Go! You know what? Fine. I'm exhausted. I'm cold. I'm just gonna put down my sleeping bag and... Okay, cool. I had the situation under control. What, because you're from New Hampshire? I took an hour nap. Wow, it's foggy. Then another hour nap. Wow, it's still foggy. Because I had heard that limiting your sleep to hour-long segments was the best thing to do when you have hypothermia. Grandpa, you're gonna burn out if you don't get enough sleep. But how could I burn if it's negative 20 degrees? <laughs> oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Sprain risk? Another! Shoo. Can I bandage my hypothermia? Look, I think you're- I think you're overestimating how bad of the situation I was in. Sure, two wolf attacks and falling into a frozen lake are not ideal conditions, but I was learning! Oh shoot, part of me wanted to stay near the fire to cure my hypothermia and ward off any other wolves, but I also didn't really have... food. Nor much fuel for the fire. Then I saw crows. Ooh, crows! They were circling over something. Like before. Oh, oh, sorry. I'll, I'll do another flashback. Uh... This had to mean another dead body. With pockets. For thieving. Especially since my carrying capacity was cut in half because of my fatigue. I made sure to limit what else I was picking up. Rock. Why don't you have pockets? Ah, but what about that hunting blind? Oh, more food, thank the lord. And some ammunition for my revolver. If I had one! Wood logs scattered the floor of the hut and the ground outside, and I made sure to take each one I could find because, after all, fuel is one of the most valuable resources, and it would be really stupid of me not to pick up a couple of them due to poor inventory management, especially when I have hypothermia, and getting warm is of the utmost importance. But I wasn't going to build a fire in this wooden blind. I wasn't dumb enough to do that, on top of leaving wood behind. Wait, you left wood behind? I mean, but maybe there was some better shelter next to the train. 
No. I needed to recover from the hypothermia tonight. If I didn't, my already dwindling state of health would continue to diminish, and I'd be stuck being tired all of the time. Which, to be honest, has been a problem since high school, but nine hours! I needed to stay above freezing for nine hours. I don't know if I have enough wood for that. You dumb. I know. I was sleeping in hour segments again because I didn't have enough fuel for the fire, but I needed to get sleep immediately because I kept getting tired way too fast because of the hypothermia, but I needed to get more fire to cure the hypothermia, so I needed more fuel. Sprain risk! No, okay, we're good. Dang, this dark is kinda long. In a desperate search to find anything to make the fire last as long as- Nice! That was another few hours! I could sleep! Only two more hours! This is manageable! I can do this! How much longer will the fire last? F Sprain risk? Was there anything I missed when I found the spruce wood? A any sticks? Anything? I was so close! Just n another hour of fire! There had to be something! I'd refuse to believe otherwise! But where, could, where would I... It was so dark, I... I, I still had time to think. So I browse some crafting recipes to pass the time, as I hoped another few rays of daylight might reveal something in the snow that I had overlooked. Fishing lure, fishing lure, fishing tackle, fishing tip up, hook, one scrap metal? Oh, and I was looking for granola bars! I was too busy surviving moment to moment. Sort of like how you youngsters get sucked into living moment to moment in those ticky talks. Grandpa! That I didn't think about planning ahead to have a stable food source. If I found a workbench and crafted a fishing line, maybe my parents would finally be proud of me. I now had a reason for searching the rest of these frozen swamplands. Find a workbench. Don't you still have hypothermia? Oh frick, you're right. Come on, is there anything? No, I don't want to waste time by breaking things down. I need something fast. The fire is dying. Maybe the other side of the train? I don't want to go far, but... Please? Please? Yes! 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 Go freaking zoom! I did it. You did it? I did it! <sighs> I love the smell of no hyperthermia and no sprain angle in the morning. My hopes had been resurrected. I could make this. I could make it to school on time. I could even get extra credit by describing how I almost died. Even though the situation was totally in my hands at all times. And I'm going to learn how to fish. But not right now. Uh, how do I get around this? I'm, and I've learned so many other useful things. Avoiding thin ice, starting a fire while under pressure, so many useful friggin- friggin- calculus is gonna be a breeze. Wait a second. A dead end. But have no fear. Just backtrack a teeny bit, cross over to the ice that's hugging the snow, and stand close to solid ground as I move forward. Quick, hug the wall! <laughs> Run! <laughs> what if? No, 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 no. <sighs> this can't be good for my grade. But, maybe, the real long dark was the friends we made along the way. What? You're lying. You didn't die. You're, you're from New Hampshire. Turns out the school is in Canada.